everybody, it's Eileen, your favorite pamper chef consultant, which I always hope, never know, but I can always tell. Okay, so tonight I am doing a live cooking demo and I am going to show you guys off two of my favorite products, okay? And they have become like staples in my kitchen. One of them is sitting here right in front of me and it is our deluxe cooking blender, okay? So this is like definitely one of my very favorite products is using my deluxe cooking blender and so i'm gonna go ahead and just start prepping some of the stuff that i'm going to put in here we're going to make tomato soup is one of the things that we're going to make okay so if you have joined me i need you to comment what would you cook in your deluxe cooking blender okay because it's the only way I can um, know what you guys are all thinking, and then I will try to read while I cook. That should be interesting, but I can do this. I have great confidence, okay? So, I am going to make you guys, um, hopefully this is gonna um, work. Let's see, can I see my comments too? Let me double check. Uh, no, okay. So, oh, well, so, okay, so who do I all have with me? You guys have to comment so I can see who's joining me. So I'm gonna make tomato soup in the deluxe cooking blender. What I have already done, and you might be able to hear it in the background, but I have already started uh, a pork tenderloin. The pork tenderloin is in the air fryer. And so what I did was, not only do I have a pork tenderloin in here, and I'll talk to you guys about that a little bit more, it's been cooking for about 30 minutes or so, and then I also have two baked potatoes tucked inside of it too as well. So um, let me tell you, the best thing that my husband thinks happened about me being sent home to do virtual shows is that instead of me heading out to someone else's house to cook for them, and then I tell him about what I cooked, now, you know, like, he gets to eat whatever I decide to cook for you guys. So. For the past 24 years since I started Pamper Chef, one of my things has always been is teaching people how to cook, and it's how I've always cooked, my mother taught me this, is that you cook by what's in your house, right? So I'm a firm believer of cook what's in your pantry. If you keep a running list of basic ingredients, right, of what you need, you can make so many different meals. The other thing is, on your refrigerator, keep a running list. So if I use like my vegetable broth, it goes on the list. So when I go to the grocery store, you can add it into your app where I just grab the sheet of paper and off I go, right? But that way, when I'm gonna cook, I know what's in the house, right? And it makes it easier. If you know that your family has five or 10 favorite recipes, keep a list on your refrigerator of those recipes, right? Just keep them there. Then it's really easy for you guys just to pull up those recipes and you're set to go. If they're basic ones, they're easy to adjust to. The easiest way if you're making like hamburgers or pork or chicken, right? And you want to change the flavor, check out all of our different seasons and rub. Change the seasons, change the flavor, change the meal. They don't know that you just had served them chicken last night, right? Because last night it was Italian and you made some pasta, some pasta sauce. Tonight you do some Greek one. It's gonna to taste totally different. That's like one of my big things. Okay, so this is our cooking blender. And this recipe could not, you guys, be simpler to make. This is what it's gonna look like. Okay, so all it is, is it's water or vegetable broth. I'm gonna, I add a bullion cube so I'd have my vegetable broth. We're gonna add some salt, some tomato, Two running tomatoes, we're actually gonna use three because they're pretty small, so I'm just gonna tuck those through, um, put those in. And then we're gonna add um, a can of whole tomatoes and a half an onion. Okay, so here's what makes this so nice. Instead of having to worry about doing a whole bunch of chopping and stuff, because it's going to cook and chop and grind and everything at the same time, we're not gonna to have to do that. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is, so I already measured out my water. These are our measuring cups. They're one, two, and a three cup. They come in a set. Here's why you gotta have them. Because they're made out of acrylic, the numbers, guys, are in between the layers. They never, ever wash off, right? Nothing's more frustrating, because I used to have 
glass ones and then the numbers all run off and then I couldn't read, okay? And then I didn't even need glasses. Now I need glasses that we know that ain't gonna work. And the other thing is they have these nice nylon little handles. I could put this in my microwave, boil the water, the handle will still be cold, so you don't have to worry about finding the big mitt or anything, okay? So that's one of the things. I already washed my tomatoes. I'm going to cut my tomato in just quarters. Okay, so this is our professional forged stainless steel chef knife. Here's the key about this. When you're holding on to your knife, you never hold a knife like this, that's how you cut yourself, that's how the knife slides. There are little circles, and I have a P and a C, they're on both sides. Your thumb goes in the circle, right? Your hand relaxes. When you do that, you now have control over your what you're doing, right? What? Forgot to take the lid out. And then you go ahead, and this way, you can just go ahead. So the other reason why this is so important is holding it that way. This way, your arm is doing the work, not your wrist. They don't slide. You don't cut your hands. Okay. So we put our tomatoes in here, and I just cut them in big chunks. See, that's the other nice thing. Because of the fact that my wonderful cooking blender will cook your food, grind your food, blend your food, chop your food, make your smoothies, right? You don't have to worry about doing a whole bunch of extra chopping, which makes me happy. Okay, so we're going to cut the um, onion. This is our coated knife. We also have coated ones. With your coated knives, your food doesn't stick. And you know, it's nice. One of the things I've always loved about Pamper Chef over the 24 years I've done this is the fact that we have different levels of things, right? So we have our four stainless steel um, cookware um, knives, which have a lifetime warranty. They're equivalent to what a professional chef would purchase. My one nephew is a professional chef. And my sister gave him um, a set of our knives. Well, actually, she gave him the, um, just the chef knife, and then he couldn't understand why his mother didn't give him the whole set. She informed him that he should come and talk to his aunt. Okay, so if you notice what I did was I seared it down the sides, and then that way you can get the skins out, which is going to make it a whole lot easier as well. Okay, so if you're not going to eat a whole onion, you don't cut the root off, okay? You want to keep the root on. And then take your little one cup cup rolls, okay, put it in your bowl, grab a lid, right? Put it cut side down and it will stay fresh. These one cup prep rolls come in a set of um, six. You will use them all the time and then there's also a two and a three cups. The reason you're going to use them is because you can see your food, right? If you can see your food, you're going to eat the food. If you have colored um, things in the... Um, food and color containers, I never know what the devil's in them. And then it's so easy you don't eat it. This way you can see what you've got. Okay, so we have the tomatoes. We put the um, vegetable broth. We need to put a little salt in here. Let me just grab my salt. And I always use our um, potion, um, salt because it just makes everything taste good. And if you use kosher um, sea salt, I'm sorry, sea salt, you're not going to have, and ours is um, a pink Himalayan. When you use sea salt, you get that wonderful salt flavor which brings out your food. But what it also does is it doesn't have as much sodium in it. Okay, so then what I've done is I went ahead. This is our garlic roller, so I'm just going to stick this in here like so. And then you just press down and you roll. Okay, so then what happens is the skin on the outside of your garlic will just pop off. Now, I could easily now, if I wanted to slice this really thin, then I would just get out my garlic slicer and slice them really thin. If you slice it really thin, you're going to have a milder flavor than if you're going to crush it with the garlic press. And it comes apart. Here's the other fun thing. Not only can you use this for your garlic, but it also works really good if you're going to um, use like fresh ginger. If you can hear little feet in the background, that's my dog Einstein, the golden. Um, Einstein has come to join me in the kitchen to see if um, I'm going to drop anything, which he likes to do. Anything? Yeah. Okay. So we've got that in. We put the onion in. We put the garlic cloves in. Okay. So now, because I remember to take this, these our cooking blender will slide underneath your countertop. They realize 
When Pamper Chef designed this, one of the big things is, is that you are going to want to make sure that it's easy to store. If it wasn't easy to store, you're not going to use it, right? So that's why. Okay, so it slides underneath. My cabinets happen to be just probably a quarter of an inch too long because I have extra long cabinets. I just take the cap off, store it inside, I'm set to go. Okay, we already have our plugged in. So all I'm gonna do is turn it on. Okay, this is one of my favorite things. Shh, listen. I know, isn't that fun? She talks to you too, I just love that. Okay, now we're gonna start this. I added all the ingredients. We're going to put the lock on, we did that. We turned the wheel to soup. Okay, so now I turned it to soup, and then all I do is I'm going to go ahead and I press the button. The button will start it. Here's what makes this cooking blender so darn much fun. Okay, so here's why. When you're cooking with this cooking blender, it has for us, there's a soup, a jam, a sauce, a preheated, a smoothie, a grind, a heated wash. Yes, she washes herself. And you can make alternative notes. But you can also custom how you're going to grind things. If you just want to pulse it, you can adjust the temperature. It cooks to 240 degrees. Now you might think it's not doing anything. It's really just sort of like thinking, right? In here is the motor. And so it knows when it's supposed to grind, when it's supposed to stop, and when it's supposed to come back in and stuff. So it will cook your food to 240 degrees. Now, if any of you have ever made jam before, I used to help my mom, and we made all kinds of jams. We made peach, we made um, apple butter, we would make strawberry, we made raspberry, we made choke cherry, we made blueberry, we made strawberry, we made all kinds, right? And one of the jobs was when we were making the jam is somebody had to stand over the stove with a thermometer in it, stir it constantly, bring it up to that 240 degrees, and make sure that you did not boil it over the stove. Because if you were the one who boiled over the stove, you were the one who had to clean the stove. And trust me, having been the one who boiled it over, that was never a fun job. This way, I can make my jam. I put the sugar, I put the water in, I put the fresh fruit in it, I turn it on to jam, I press the start, just like I did now, right? And hit the start, it cooks itself all the way up. When you need to add anything extra, which are called the add-ins, it will stop and it will let you go ahead and add it. So like with the jam, it'll let you have the practice. With this one, it wants you, wait a minute, did I forget to put the cans in? Oh, you know what? So we're gonna stop for a minute. Okay, this was always somebody's job at my cooking show was to make sure, or was my hose, because well, when I did this, was to make sure I forgot. Okay, I was like, there's not enough soup in here. That's because I forgot to put the can on it, right? So it just stopped, you'll know what I did. So I'm gonna pour these two cans of my tomatoes in. Okay, the key with this is you have to turn half of a turn, quarter of a turn backwards, use Squiddy's beak. Okay, we're just gonna rinse this a little bit because there's lots of great flavor in there. Dump that in and then we're going to put this one in. Is It will catch itself right up. Okay, so with the heated wash, one of the things that I love about this so much is probably the fact that it washes itself. You put three cups of water in, put two squirts of um, your soap in, right? It heats itself up to 140 degrees and now it washes itself. You don't have to worry about it. If you have anything left, right, that gets stuck. Okay, so now we're just gonna hit start again. Okay, here's the good thing. It knows it needs to heat to 240 degrees. It's not 117 degrees, right? So it's just circulating, voila, and it sets to go again. Now, if I was making like, how many of you love peanut butter? I love peanut butter, right? So now instead of buying peanut butter, or if you want pecan, or if you want cashew, or if you want almond butter, you just dump it in to your um, deluxe cooking blender. I can actually feel it starting to warm up. I turn it on to butter, and it will make your own butter. Now, if anything is sticking down, you get your little tamp out, right? Because you can take the lid off, but it will only go here. So you never have to worry about it hitting the blade. So you're going to be set to go. Now, you're probably going... Well, that's all hunky-dory, Ellie, but how on earth would I ever remember this? 
So let me show you why you will remember. If these are where I keep my cookbooks and my um, recipes in my house. Okay. So with it, it comes with its very own cookbook, right? So that way you know what you're going to do, right? So for example, basically I took it out of the box and I set it on the base and I was set to go. It's not hard, right? So it makes it really simple. But if I wanted to make a smoothie, I have made the sweet potato soup more than once. You literally dump everything in. But here's the other thing. If you're making smoothies, it tells you what the settings are. It tells you exactly what order to put everything in. And if you've ever made smoothies before, which I have, one of the challenges was that never seemed to chop up all of the ice. I have to worry. It's going to chop it all up. I don't have to worry. If anything sticks, you pull this out, set to go, right? And if I wanted to make alternative milks, it tells you how to soak the nuts, add the water, drain them. It's got a strainer even, too, as well. I was just reading earlier today about this antioxidant um, mixture of tea and you, um, it's green tea and honey and turmeric. Turmeric's really good for you if you have inflammation too, by the way. Um, and one of the things is you put raspberries in and said put it in a blender. Hello. And then you need to see, well, it has a sieve, so I don't even have to worry. So it has that too as well. So if I'm going to grind, you can set it at different ones. There are 10 different levels of grinding, so you can decide how much you're going to grind it, how fine do you want it, and just by pulsing it too as well. So it tells you how to do it. This red pepper roasted dip is absolutely to die for, right? And you just dump it all in. That's what makes it so great. You can make soups, you can heat things up, you can bake squash. I have done sauces in here. I have mashed up my bananas in here. You can even mix up your pancakes in it. You just pulse a couple times. You can make a brownie in here, right? You can make caramel sauce in here. It makes the best, oh my gosh, it makes the best ever, ever hot chocolate. You put the chocolate in it, you add the brown sugar, and then you add the um, chocolate chips at the end. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was so, so, so fabulously good. You would have just loved, 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 loved it, right? So the other really nice thing is, is it tells you how to do everything, right? Now, if you or somebody, either you or somebody in your family loves to make smoothies or they love to do the protein drinks, right? Not to worry. Let's get this out, but I'll get it up. Okay, so it also has where you can get it. I'm find it. It's in my cover over here. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, so come on, I tell you, this is the best part about you guys having me in my own kitchen, right? For everything I need is in this kitchen someplace. Even comes with a string. This portion here is your strainer, so you can rinse your fruit or you can measure them, dump them in here. This connects to um, the blades, and then you just put you just screw it right on here. It's just that simple, right? Um, Optifix. I can't figure out when I put it. It's here though. It's here. I just don't know where it is. It's in that cover too. In there. I know that is. Okay. Here's the other cool thing too. This is one of our items that is 25% off, is our cooking blender. So is our air fryer, so is our quick cooker. The air fryer, but this cooking blender has one extra special deal for this month, only this month. To kick off 2021, you guys, in January only, you can start your business for $20.21, and you can earn this cooking blender, which is worth normally $349. What an incredible deal. You know, if this is something you're thinking, hmm, I could do, really let me know. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to tell you about is the air fryer. So I'm going to do a little rearranging on my countertop here, and I'm going to pull out my air fryer. So this is my air fryer, okay? Now, the air fryer says that we are all done, okay? So let me take this out. So what I already did, doesn't that look good? Here, let me tilt my camera. There, okay, can you guys see better? Okay, okay. So what I did, you guys, oh, 
before I do that, this is the base. Whoops, now I'm crooked. Okay, this is the base for the smoothie. And this is the um, blades that go on it, just so you know. I just I had it, they just had to find it. Okay, so what I did was I had bought a pork tenderloin um, oh, last week and I um, had it in here, right? So it was a fairly good one and I wanted to make a pork tenderloin and I wanted to roast it. Also makes great turkey ro roast, a whole turkey, a turkey breast, you know, a little one or the chicken, right? But look at this, I'm going to stick in. So this is my pork. I am going to go ahead and check my temperature. This is the nicest probe, you guys. Okay, now one of the things I learned, it's 148 degrees. We want our pork to be 145 to 160 degrees. That's how you know. It has its listing here, so you know what your temperature is going to be. That to me is like one of my other really great ones. Okay, and then, and I learned this now, if you're not having it on the rotisserie, because that's what I did, I was rotisserie it, right? You could, if this was like my regular oven, or if I was just gonna use it in the bake function, I could just set this on outside and I could see exactly what it is. Now, don't make the mistake that I did. I had this other rotisserie one time and I wasn't thinking, yeah, I know that's surprised anybody who knows me. Um, and of course it wrapped this up. So don't do that. That was not a real smart thing. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on. Let me show you how I did this. So we're gonna cancel this. All I did, this is how easy. I went to rotisserie. I hit rotate, or put the light on, and then I hit start. I'm gonna do this for like another three minutes, okay? That's it. It's that simple. So this air fryer, you can air fry, I can bake, I can roast, I can rotisserie. It is the best for reheating. Whether, like, how many times have you ever, like, went out to a Mexican restaurant? Okay, I know we don't do that very often anymore. But if you did, and you came home, and you ate part of the chips, or they gave you, or you had, like, a burrito, or you had the tacos, or you just made the food, right? Or you picked it up, and it was cold. Well, you know what? You put it in the reheat, and it tastes as good as when it first started. When you bought it, right? It just warms it up. It's so much better than if you put it in to the oven, right? In a microwave. You could also dehydrate. My husband loves to do that uses because he likes it to make his own beef jerky. Of all the things that I have earned in 24 years, you guys, this is what he has decided is his absolutely very favorite. And so when we got this last March, he was like over the moon after we used it like once or twice. And then his big thing was, he informed me that I wasn't allowed to take it out of the house when I was gonna start taking it on March 1st to my shows because what was he going to cook with? Like we have nothing in our house to cook with, right? Luckily for him, I earned two, so he would have been okay, right? But the great thing is, it's his versatility. Now, like with the, um, our cooking blender and our um, quick cooker, which is our pressure cooker, right? That The pressure cooker has 60 different settings. You'll use it all the time. Love, 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 love it too as well, right? But here's the thing that I love about my air fryer. It is just as hard. You took it out of the box, it has the, the um, things in your set to go. But it too tells you how to do everything, right? So if I want to make chicken nuggets or I can make my own, there's a recipe or chicken wings. Oh my gosh, I got to tell you guys, I know Super Bowl Sunday is only like two weeks away, right? If there is no other reason, and this should be there with no problem, there is no other reason you need to get an air fryer. You need an air fryer to make your wings for Super Bowl Sunday. They are the most incredible chicken wings. And here's the thing, I don't even like chicken wings. But when they're done in here, you, you, you take them, you put a little flour, and then it also has some baking soda. And so it absorbs that ice, and they get crispy, and you just put them on. You put them in the racks, right? And, and you just segment. But here's the other great thing. There's even a basket that comes with it, too, right? Oh, I forgot to put the basket up. There was something I forgot. Basket. Okay. So the basket, and here's the thing. which I thought was like too darn much fun, so I actually made popcorn in here too. But you can use your basket for french fries, you can use it for your chicken wings too, and it tosses it. Oh my gosh, they were so, so good. Now, 
The other things that I use is, if you love roasted vegetables, you can roast your vegetables. How many of you love like pita bread, right? The littlest ones, buy your pita bread, cut it up into, you know, the big whole ones, right? Cut it up into triangles, put it in a bowl, spread some oil on it, right? And you're set. Oh, okay, we're done. Cause I'm beeping. Okay, see, it's done. And my potatoes are done, right? So I just wanted to cook it just a tad more. So we're gonna check the temperature. Cause it was only at 143. See how I'm doing? Okay, so here's the other thing. Roasted vegetables, done. French fries, take a potato, cut it up, dry it, stick it in here. Best French fries ever, right? You wanna do that. You have like snacks or something, like you have the small pizzas and stuff, put them in here. Need to reheat it, put the pizza, put it in here, right? The frozen pizza, stick it in here, right? Here's the other great thing. All of our small stones, if you've got like our toaster oven, if you've got 191, okay, she's done. Okay, let's say you have um, one of, and all of our stones will be back by the 1st of March and Stone Special, we do have a starter set as for our house next month too as well. But here's the other one that fits. Our enamel baker, right? The little one, oh, look at this. This is a brand new one, it is available next month. Isn't it cute? So cute. The other one is great, right? But this little one quart fits in here. Now, why is that important? No. Think about this. So, if I was going to go ahead, right, and I was going to make, um, like, I have done this. I made um, um, banana bread last week, and I put part of it in my mini loaf pan, and then I had extra banana bread, right? So... I could take my banana bread and put it into, I'm right here guys, I haven't left yours. I moved my, um, my thing, my, um, thing to take out my, um, it lifts, oh, where did I put it? It's on my countertop. It's my, um, thing to take out my, um, hold on a minute, know what I'm doing, you have to work with me. There's a little, oh, here it is. I told you I had it. Now, anyone who's ever been to one of my home cooking shows knows I always lose things on the countertop when I'm cooking. It's just who I am, okay? Um, so, watch this. You just lift your rotisserie. How cool is that, right? So what I'm doing, you guys, and then I've got my potatoes in here, right? So let me grab, these are our mini um, oven mitts. They also look like little sharkies. So I'm gonna grab my potato. Let me see, is he done? Eh, he could cook a little bit longer. So what I'm gonna do is, well, I finish up, right? I'm gonna put the rack in here, right? And then we're just gonna put the potatoes, because you always should let your meat um, sit for about 10 minutes before you cut it. Reason being is that's how you're going to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit cancel. We're going to put it over here to air bake. I don't need 25 minutes. I probably only need 10. So I am just going to put, but I can also adjust the temperature down too if I wanted to as well. This, we probably use our air fryer easily five to six times a week, easily. It has become, oh, and look at this. There's handles on the bottom so I can pick her up and move her. How cool is that too, right? But people have said, what would you all cook in it? It's designed that you could make a meal for six in it. That's why it's designed. It has two racks in it, right? So one was in it, and then I had the very bottom, which is the drip tray. So I use that too as well. I had made roasted vegetables. I had made, used my little cast iron enameled baker, the gray one, because I just earned this. This is like one of the wonderful side things about doing Hamper Chef is earning more free things. I just love earning free things every month, and this happened to be this one's free thing. And two new seasonings is the fact that 
I have done apple crisps, I've done a peach crisp, I have done brownies in here, I have done cookies, I have done biscuits, I have done um, a whole roasted turkey breast, I have done a whole roasted chicken, I have done the pork tenderloin multiple times, we have done hot dogs, we have done sausage and bratwurst and hamburgers and steaks and pork chops in here, roasted vegetables, asparagus, broccoli, cauliflower, roasted tomatoes, zucchini, those have all been done and I have done different types of appetizers in here, I've even done cookies in here. When people say to me, why, why, why are you so in love? The reason is, this is like my little portable, fabulous little oven, right? But it does so many more things. And the fact, the fact, you guys, that this month it is 25% off is just beyond amazing. In the 24 years I have been a consultant, we have never, ever, ever, never, never done anything like this before. So the fact that we're doing this, it's so fabulous you guys right and the really wonderful thing is is that a host well they can get it for an extra 50 percent off too now the other great thing and you gotta get these oh and there's also a skewer set you can get that fits in here too as well okay so our soup is 207 degrees let me show you what is so here's the big thing this air fryer is normally 279 it's 209 it's an incredible deal this which is normally 349 is 261.75 right the quick cooker which is normally 249 is only 186 so let me take this out and then i'm going to move things around one more time oh i also found and I don't think I'm going to have time to do it for you guys. But I also found a recipe on my website. Oh, by the way, just go to my website, right? And in Hong, you just go to pamperchef.pws um, backslash Eileen, right? And you'll find me. Um, I have also listed on the website here too, right? Or just search me, right? But here's the great thing. I found a fried pickle recipe. I love fried pickles. My husband loves fried pickles. So I actually have everything I need to make fried pickles in the air fryer. We'll see if I get to that too. So here's the nice thing. So this here is our new insulated stainless bowls, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, hit my roast off. So this one here is the two quart, two and a half quart. This one here is the one quart, okay? Well, let me show you guys what is so neat about this. So you can put your food, you put your food in, it's gonna keep it hot, right? But when you're serving, look at that. It just sits in this beautiful white enamel, right? And then there's a silicone on the bottom. Hey, so the other really nice thing about this too is the fact that you can just, you just wash it in, the, in your um, sink, don't put it in your dishwasher. But the other nice thing too is that I can go ahead and I can put it into the refrigerator too. So these are my kitchen chairs and they're stainless steel. And this is what, look at, they come apart so you can wash them too. You can even sharpen them too as well. Yeah, the blades can be sharpened. So what I put on this pork, right, is when I made this, is I took some Dijon mustard, I cut it open, salt and pepper, okay, and then I wrapped it up in my yarn, okay? And, oh, it beeps at me, okay. My air fryer is beeping at me, and the reason it beeps, I had put it on for an extra 10 minutes because my um, baked potatoes weren't done, yep. But it beeps at you so that that way you know to rotate your uh, racks or Turn your baked potatoes over. So we're gonna move those down to the lower level. Okay. We're gonna shut that door. And off it goes again, right? And so you're set to go. So these stainless steel chairs I was talking about, you can just put those in here. So what I did was I took Dijon mustard and I took some um, salt, pepper, um, our garlic and herb rub, and I had some of our maple rub left too. 
and I put that in the inside. So let me kind of tilt this up so you can see. So this is what it looks like, okay? So we're gonna, these will also go to be washed in the dishwasher too as well. Make sure you don't lose your little screws because they come off so that you can wash them too. Um, that's like one of the things I have to do. So, let me show you. So here's why, so I'm just gonna grab my knife. Right? One of the things is too, you guys, is that, okay, so we're just going to have our meat. And this is just, it just turned out so that, so here's something else, you guys. You could even have taken this pork, right? Because I opened it, or a chicken, and you could stuff it, right? How yummy would that be? Now, here's another reason why I would recommend getting your stainless steel insulated, like insulated um, bowls. How many times in your life, in your house, Right? Does it ever happen that part of your meal is done before the rest? For like instant, my pork is done, right? So this is ready to eat, but not my potatoes, right? So, or I'm making a rose, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to make um, mashed potatoes, right? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. The other advantage of cooking from home, I often can taste what I'm eating. Um, because I never did that at my shows, right? So now, to my flexible cutting mat, my shows. I'm just gonna slide my meat into my bowl, right? This will keep my meat warm for about two hours, right? How handy is that? Okay, our soup is 240 degrees, right? So one of the reasons that I was like, oh, I could do my soup, because that would be really good tomorrow, because I still have some cornmeal bread made from when I made, um, the other day, when I made vegetable soup. And I made that in the two quart. So this is my two quart um, baker okay so but this is our now I needed to keep my um, cornmeal and look at you Dale doesn't stick at all right so this is what the gray looks like so I use my stretch silicone lid right they come in a set of three and I can just put them up and here's the other nice thing there's this little button here right so if I use this on a container, there's also round ones. If I had used that like in the oven and, or I was going to use it in the microwave, especially if you're using it in the microwave, you take off that little hole, the tab out, unhook it so the steam releases and you don't have to. So here's one of my other favorite things. Oh my gosh, this is so my fave. So I didn't know how much I needed a Dutch oven Really, I didn't know I needed it, but I do. This is our cast iron Dutch oven um, six quart that we now want. Okay, so here's what makes us so much different than everybody else's. If not only is it glazed, but see these knobbies? Okay, so here's what makes us so great. Because of the knobbies that are on it, you guys, the juice does not stick to the top of the lid. It literally self bases itself the entire time you're cooking. And you can use it on absolutely any different type of stove, right? So you can use this on a gas, an electric, an induction, or a flat top. You can use this in your oven, right? It's going to work fine. And because it's, you've got the wonderful cooking properties of the cast iron, but you also have the same cooking properties. So you've got the properties of cooking, but because it's got the nonstick, it makes it so incredibly easy to keep clean, right? If there is anything that ever stacks, I just have some bar keeper and I just do a little of that and I'm set to go. It's just amazing, right? And our cast iron, um, whether you want it in the beautiful new 
And this is going to be exclusive and it's going to be only a limited time, they've told us. This light blue, or you can get the set in the three. But here's the great thing, you guys. You can get the cast iron enameled. Um, you can get the Dutch oven. This is normally $190. And next month, House can get it for $76. Or you can get the whole set. So you get the one quart, you get the one two quart and you get the six quart Dutch oven. Normally they're 324 next month. They're only 124. They're 60% off. You realize that's almost $200 off. That's incredible. Normally you would pay $130 for the one quart and the two quart enameled bakers. They're 130. You're going to get the Dutch oven Literally, like for free, as by hosting a party. Also, did you know your host gets a 40% off item on each one of the shows, too, as well? And we can do all kinds of different shows, you guys. We can do a cooking one like this. We could do, oh, I'm also going to try doing bingo ones next week, month two, where we do like a bingo party on um, Pemper Chef on that show on Facebook. I think that could be really fun, too. Um, we could do a 30-minute messenger one. We could do just where you just share the show link. Or maybe you go, you know what, there's only one or two things, and I think I would just love to share the rewards with all my friends. We could do that. Lots and lots of options. So, my soup is 240 degrees. It says I have um, 6 minutes and 42 seconds left for it to cook. I'm not going to make you guys wait for that. When it's done, it will stop. It will tell me. Yeah, this is hot because it's 200. You can see. Can you guys see the steam? It is done. So, I want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you for all of you for joining me. Comment below what's your favorite product that I talked about. What didn't I talk about you wanted to know. And who, if you were hosting your party, what item do you want for free or half price? Because really. Oh, and by the way. If I can do this, you can do this. Because when you really stop and think about it, what's the worst thing that would ever happen to you if you decided to give this business a try? Besides pride it, make some money, earn some new products. Hmm, that'll work for me. So, thank you all so much. I'm so glad you joined me. And let me know. What did you think? Um... And I will take some pictures once it stops. It's boiling up. So you can see what the soup looked like. And um, so I will be back to you shortly. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.